Hi, I'm Anthony Huerta. Welcome to YWAM Tyler and to Twin Oaks Ranch. We have 500 acres here and I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Let's go take a look. The front office is where all of our logistical planning takes place for not only at this base, but globally. Let's go take a look inside. So this is our accounting office. Here at YWAM, we service over 1,800 missionaries and 200 bases around the world on every continent except for Antarctica. Here, I'll show you the communications room. And this is our communications room where all the videos and literature gets published globally. This is Miran Yang. She's fluent in English, Spanish, and Korean. She's one of the many talented women that work in this department. And this is the think tank for all of our creative writing. We're about to step into our Strategic Frontiers office. Strategic Frontiers is what many believe to be the, the core of what YWAM Tyler does. Here in this office, we service missionaries in over 37 countries on every continent. These are a few of the cities that we have missionaries currently being funded and supported through this office. So this is our boardwalk where we have our hospitality department, our school offices, along with our classrooms and hotel. A really unique feature that YWAM Tyler offers is this boardwalk. It's like a blast from the past, stepping back into the old Western days where we're sitting on a ranch in East Texas. Let's go check in on one of our DTSs. Okay, okay. We're the people that they're working with, and so they embrace it. And so those lives, those things, you can actually minister on a global level and bring peace. Over 6,000 DTS students have come through these walls since 1982 from all different countries, all different ages, all different backgrounds just to see what God has for them here at YWAM. Another really unique thing that we have is a hotel on campus. Let's go check it out. So our hotel is a really cool feature that not many bases have. It's an eight room state-of-the-art hotel that offers all the amenities of home here at the YWAM base. Hey man, how's it going? So because of the high number of speakers and teachers and ministers and missionaries just coming back from the mission field that come through our walls and our gates, we have to have a facility like this to house them. Each room is decorated with a different theme from around the world. It's definitely been a blessing for me and my family having this hotel here. It's within a shouting distance of my dorm room. This really is a peaceful and serene place. It's time for lunch. We're headed to the PSC where we have all our meals. Hey, can you hear that? <laughs> Something amazing for lunch. Let's go check it out. Hey, Joy. Hey, Sioni. What is it, Natasha? Chicken salad. Chicken salad, her favorite. Hey, hey Sawyer. What's up? Steven. Yeah, he's at a staff meeting down at the substation. I just remembered, I got a meeting at the substation. Let's go see what that's about. Hey, Faith. Everything from burgers, to chicken fries, to salads, to flatbreads. We have it all.
This is the Paris Fellowship Center, our 27,000 foot state of the art facility that God gave us. We have our meals, we have our worship, we even have two classrooms in it. Let's go check it out. As you can see, this building has many practical uses, such as our eating area. On any given day, we can have up to 400 people here eating meals. But on Wednesdays and Sundays, it turns into our worship center. When all these tables are moved and seats fill this area. During the spring and fall, we have two huge conferences. One is Inspire, which is a worships conference. And we also have our fall staff kickoff. This is our Paris Fellowship Center classroom. It's one of the many rooms where classes take place. These are a few of our students that are enjoying their time here at Twin Oaks Ranch. I'm glad that you came and stopped by. So this is our prayer chapel, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It's where many come to get refreshed and refilled and get the inspiration for the world that God has for them. So this is our family pool where many come to get refreshed after an East Texas hot summer's day. We'll see you guys later. It's a nice little oasis in the middle of the ranch. When tragedy strikes, these are the people you want to call. Our Mercy Works Department handles humanitarian crises globally. Let's go check out their building. So this is our Mercy Works Department. Our Mercy Works Department helps out in third world countries and, and desperate and needy situations where typically people are hard pressed to, to find help. So this is where they come together and schedule a lot of the things and determine what area of the world they're gonna go help out next. And this is our fully functioning nurses station. Having over 500 residents throughout the year here at Twin Oaks, a place like this is definitely necessary. Hey, doctor. We'll see if anybody's in the dance studio. This is where our arts department comes together and designs all the dances, all the skits, all the dramas that we have for outreach. And it's really nice to have this place where we can choreograph all those amazing skits and, and tools that God uses while we're on outreach. This is one of the many housing facilities here at YWAM Tyler. This is actually the girls dorm. Let's go take a look. This is their kitchen where some of their cooking and cleaning goes on. Let's go check out their fridge. Uh, little blueberries and strawberries. Let's go see where the party's at. So this is the living room of the girls dorm. You can see pretty spacious. Usually girls are in here hanging out, relaxing, playing board games, singing their newest worship song they've learned. This is our guys dorm where much of the discipleship takes place. Things that are learned in the classroom are transferred over here to this guys dorm. Let's go take a look. If the Paris Fellowship Center doesn't have the food you want, you can come here. Make whatever you want. Let's go check out some of the rooms. Let's see what these missionaries are up to. Hey, my brother. Go figure, his name's Christian. <laughs> hey, go figure, his middle name's Christian. <laughs> uh, love these guys. This is our agriculture and technology department. Here we train missionaries in the area of sustainable farming so that they can take it out to impoverished communities around the world. That's the end of our base tour, but there's still a whole lot more for you to come and discover for yourself. Until next time, see you guys.